Hey guys, it's New Name, and welcome back to my old school Iron Man adventure. If you haven't watched episode 1, it's going to be linked down below. But just a quick recap, I am primarily a RuneScape 3 player, and I decided to try out some old school RuneScape. So, I'm very new to the meta and everything, so I would really appreciate if anyone let me know some things I should try in the description down below. You'll get to see my reactions to doing different things and how I feel about old school, which, hint, I'm really enjoying it so far. Anyways, I won't waste any more of your time. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch up with you at the end of the video. Alright, so picking up right where we left off last episode, I'm in Artie. I just did a quite a few quests, and now I think it's time to uh, do some more. Um... I want to unlock more quests in the area before I move on. So I'm thinking, looking like probably the Hazel Cult quest would be a good one to do next. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that one for the gold. Actually, yeah, I'll do that one for the gold. So I will be back when that is done. All right, so this should be the end of the quest, but... While I go through this dialogue, if you aren't aware the reason that I'm doing all these quests is just to skip a lot of the early level training. Um, I too hate quests, but it's just so nice to skip some of those early levels, and the quest rewards feel way more useful in the beginning. Like right now, okay, so 1,500 XP should give me a couple levels. And, yep, to 21 thieving. Whereas if I'd have waited till later, I may not have even gotten a level. So, there is that quest down, and I'm not quite sure yet which quest I'm going to do next. I'm thinking I'm going to go and go do Wharf Cannon, uh, so I can start making cannonballs, and then I'm going to probably leave this area. I think. But, yeah. I'll be back when I'm done with that. So awkwardly enough, I died while repairing the fences. So while I'm here though, back on this side of the map, I am going to go ahead and do Imp Catcher. So I should just be really quick, talk. And... Talk again. There we go. He's gonna put the beads down. So it's so much easier than the reworked version in RS3. You actually have to find specific imps. And 18 magic. So there we go. All right, I'm going to go back and try and finish Dwarf Cannon now. All right, after way too much walking, there is Dwarf Cannon. So I can now use a Dwarf Malta Cannon. Um... That'll be good once I eventually get a level for it. Until then, I have more quests to do. Actually, there is level 12. I think I'm going to do the Sheep Herder quest while I'm here, because that's a annoying quest and it'll be good to get out of the way. And it gives four quest points, so that'll put me pretty far ahead. So, I'm going to get going on that, and like always, I'll be back when I'm done. Alright, that quest was a pain in the butt, so I am super glad to be done with it. But, there we go, four quest points, and now we can do more. Um, I'm not entirely sure which quest I am going to be doing next, but I will let you guys know. I'm in the middle of doing the uh, waterfall quest, hopefully I don't get one smacked by the moss giants. But the guide recommends while I'm here to start Tree Gnome Village, so I'm also going to get that going. So that'll be the next quest I finish. But yeah, just thought I'd share. I mean, it makes sense. They don't, like, if you're going to run through the maze once, don't do it twice. But I'll go ahead and get that started. All right. This should be the end. <clears throat> Man, that quest was brutal. I almost... I died way too many times, I'm not gonna lie. But, there we go. 
that should be 30 attack, 30 strength, and the mithril seeds. Oh, so, 205 total level. I can now wield adamant weapons, and combat level is 23. Awesome. Now I'm going to head back and get going on the uh, rest of Trinome Village. So I'll be back when that is done. Getting logs, there is 14 wood cutting. I need six for this quest, but just kind of nice to see that level. But hopefully I will be back with the end of the quest. I'm going to use magic. I hope level 18 is enough to do this. We will find out together. All right, I ended up dying and I have no money to get back. So rather than pickpocketing, since I need to get level 10 fletching, I'm gonna cut some trees and try and sell short bows. I'll see if that makes me enough money to get there. But yeah, I, there is level 15 wood cutting. And yeah, I should get all right, so I decided that was taking too long and came here for the last 5k. This should help me get to the area to finish the quest. So, I'll be back when I'm done. Oh my god, that took way longer than I will ever admit to figure out that safe spot. And yeah, I never want to talk about that again. Finally done, gonna go take these orbs back to the gnomes, and I'll be back when it's done. Hopefully I don't die to a wolf. But I will be back with the end of the quest, finally. So glad to be done with this quest. This unlocks such a great way of getting around the map for me. Early game. I can now use the spirit trees. And I'm 36 attack. 25 combat. Okay. Now I'm gonna do some quests on the other side of the map again. Now that I have easy access to this side. I'm gonna try and knock out Knight Sword to get smithing up. So... Let's go ahead and head over there. Do the Grand Exchange. I can just teleport. Awesome. Um... Yeah, I'm going to get some iron bars from the wilderness, and I will be back when I'm done with that. Oh man, that is a slow quest with one agility. Um, but yeah, there it is, and there is 29 smithing. And I also got the materials to do Doric's quest, so I'm just going to head a little bit north and knock that one out as well. I'm here at Dorix, and with everything, I should be able to just talk to him. And... There we go. Quest is done. Super easy. And there is level 19 mining. Awesome. I'm not sure what quest I'm going to do next, but... I will let you guys know as soon as I figured that out. I figured out the next quest I'm going to do. Uh, it's because I have two I want to do and I can't do the second one with my HP level. So I'm going to do my best to not get killed at Witch's house. I'll be back when it's done, hopefully. Well, there is 13 HP and I did get 23 magic, but... I did not catch it. So there's, oh, 26 combat. I'm gonna keep going. Almost done with the final form. So this is going quicker than I thought it would. Hopefully I don't run out of runes. I should have enough though. Man, that took forever to AFK, but there we go. That should be the quest. 6K HP XP. And level 25 hit points. So I should no longer be getting one shot by stuff. Which is great. Um, I think the next quest I'm going to do is... Tourist Trap. Because I can use it to get 21 agility. So 
I'm going to go make some money, though, to buy some better runes, because I think I need a better spell for when I go for that. But, um, yeah, I'm going to get 20 fletching, I think, and sell the longbows and use that for my moneymaker. It worked out pretty well last time, so back to Lumbridge I go. You know, while I'm up here, I'm going to light these logs. There is level 2 fire making. That was pretty quick. I'm going to go ahead and chop those trees now, though. There's 30 wood cutting. Awesome. Three more to go. There is level 17 fletching. Hey, there's another level 31 wood cutting. There is 18 fletching. One more to go, 19 fletching. Another level 32 wood cutting. So close to 20 fletching as well. I'm sitting at 300 XP away. So it should be next inventory or so. So far I've made 2k. So I mean it's not the greatest money maker in the world for Iron Man. I know that much. I know I should probably do Winter Todd for better money. But uh, for what I'm doing right now just to get to the next quest. I think this is a decent way. Especially considering I have to do the skilling anyways. And there is 20 fletching. So I feel like that should be enough. Um... All right, so I just put both rewards into agility and got 26 agility and the quest is complete. So that's great because my god was it taking forever to recharge my run and now it recharges way faster and I can now make darts which is amazing. Uh, at that I am going to get some more quests done though. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do next, though, for my next one. I'm sure you guys will find out shortly here. So, actually, I decided in order to make my life way less miserable, I am going to knock out some agility levels. So, I can do the rooftop agility course, looking at this in Alcarid. So, I'm going to get going on that. I'm starting at level 20. I'm not sure where I'm going to go till, but... We'll see. I'm probably not going to go too far with agility. But I will be back with the first level. Well, at that, I think I'm going to call it an episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out my social media link down below. And next episode, I'll get started right away with some agility training. So tune in for that. See how long I last. Anyways, guys. Peace out.